Some distributed ledger technologies are based on leaders. The leader-based DLTs have a leader computer. Everyone sends their transactions to the leader, and then the leader sends out, here's the order the transactions need to be. Or the leader sends out a block that has those transactions in that order that gets added to the chain. The problem with a leader-based system is that you can have a DDoS attack on the leader, a distributed denial of service attack, where computers all over the internet are flooding it with packets, preventing the leader from doing its job. Now, of course, a leader-based system would be designed so that if the leader goes silent for long enough, eventually it times out and everyone says, I guess the leader's computer has crashed, let's switch to a new leader. The problem is that if even one computer is infected with a virus or a worm or is malicious or has an insider or is compromised, that one computer will know when we have a new leader and can direct the botnet to follow the new leader. And so the botnet can play follow the leader and can keep the leader shut down all the time. Even if we have some systems you wouldn't think of as leader-based. In a database, two-phase commit is actually a kind of leader-based system. In any kind of a system where you have a lock, that you have to obtain the lock and then you can make a change and then you release the lock, it's leader-based. If you crash while you're holding the lock, there's a problem. Or if the DDoS attack is always on whoever's holding the lock, it's a problem. If you have a system where maybe we vote as a community for several leaders to take turns and every two seconds you have a different leader, that's a leader-based system. And with follow the leader attacks, the DDoS can keep shutting down a different leader every two seconds. And so we have a problem with the security of this system. Furthermore, it isn't fair. The leader has the ability to control what order the transactions are going to be in that the leader puts in. And so maybe in a stock market, your competitor bribes the leader to put theirs before yours. And if that happens even 1% of the time, stockbrokers would pay millions of dollars to cheat by getting them put ahead 1% of the time. Or maybe your access is entirely missing. Maybe your competitor bribes the leader to not even put yours into the block and you have to wait for a new leader before you can do it. And maybe several leaders in a row get bribed. So you have fairness of access, you have fairness of ordering, you even have fairness of timestamp concerns. The leader might put timestamps on these transactions, but they may not be accurate. The leader might be malicious and put bad timestamps on it. What you really want is the entire community putting timestamps on when they received your transaction and all weighing in and combining to give you a single timestamp. But with leader-based systems, you don't have that. Typically what you have is a leader puts a timestamp on it. And so because of the lack of fairness of access and of ordering and of timestamps, and because of the concern of DDoS attacks, denial of service attacks that are distributed or other forms on the leader, there are issues with leader-based systems, but these are how leader-based DLTs work.